did you make like five gallons of this? Now we're gonna figure out something to do with it? No, no, I did not do that. <laughs> this time. We got a couple things going on in the homestead today. First, we're gonna make blueberry bourbon barbecue sauce, and then we're gonna check in with Mr. Reeve and we're going to start making bacon. <laughs> First thing we need to do is saute up about two large onions. Um, I've already diced them. And this is about four tablespoons of minced garlic. If you're using fresh garlic, you might use only about two thirds of that because this is just like the store-bought pre in a jar garlic. Um, and we're gonna put a little bit of olive oil in there. I don't know, a tablespoon, wherever it takes to saute it. We're gonna get that sauteed up and then I will probably meet you at the table. Now that we have our sauteed onions and garlic all done, um, we're going to get some of this other stuff in the pot. There's a lot more um, ingredients here than I normally put in the things I cook, but this barbecue sauce needed all the things. Um, this is just uh, about two teaspoons of ginger that I'm going to chop up. I'm going to merge and blend all this in the end so it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, so that's going in there. We need... Six cups of blueberries. Ooh, that pans out. <laughs> this is, uh, these are just frozen blueberries that I got from Azure Standard. Um, we do have blueberries on our property, but pff, not time to cultivate them just yet. Um, we're just busy trying to get all the regular homestead stuff done. So berry picking is not on the list. Not for this year anyways. Um, we're going to add some vinegar, a cup of apple cider vinegar, and a half a cup of white vinegar. This is one cup of bourbon um we just use maker's mark so that's gonna go in there let's see what other goodies do i have over here two cups of sugar <laughs> and let's see what else okay a pinch of cloves and then i need to grind up some spices so and i will leave the recipe um in the description below because there's a lot of stuff to remember I'm just gonna use this little coffee grinder here to grind up a couple of little allspice berries. We only need about a quarter or a half a teaspoon. So I think I'm just gonna put maybe four, maybe five little berries in there. Um, and then this ancho chili. If you don't have ancho chilies, you can just use um, two teaspoons of paprika. Okay, the allspice <laughs> chopped up very well in here. The ancho chili, it's giving me a run for my money. So I think in the future I might use the Ninja or something else. But um, in reality, like I said, this is all gonna get immersion blend. So some of it's chopped up into little fine dust and some of it is not. So it's fine. As you can see, there's still big chunks in here. Smells really good though. Um, that's just gonna go in there and I'm just gonna make sure that when I cook this back down that those chilies get nice and soft and that I make sure there's no chunks um, when I immersion blend it. Okay, we have just four more things to put in here. We need half a teaspoon of liquid smoke. That is where the magic is. And then half a teaspoon of onion powder. Hmm. Well, let's get a clean one. How about that? There we go. Okay, half. <laughs> half a teaspoon. Um, two teaspoons of salt. And we need two tablespoons of molasses. Um, I <laughs> have it in a gallon jug. So I need to relocate some of this into this jar. Otherwise, I will make a huge mess trying to get two tablespoons of molasses out of this guy. Oh, okay. Now I know why they say uh, slow as molasses. Goodness. Perfect. No mess. Mess-free molasses. All right, and two tablespoons. Okay, now we're gonna get this back on the stove. We're gonna turn it on medium low and bring it to a simmer. We're gonna let it cook down and simmer for, oh, at least 10 minutes. I'm a little concerned that this batch might come out thin, so I'm gonna add about a cup of these dehydrated blueberries and they'll help balance out some of the liquid. Okay, we've simmered for our 10 minutes now. Those dehydrated blueberries had had a chance to get reconstituted, so now time to immersion blend. Now, 
Now, if you didn't happen to have dehydrated blueberries on hand, all you would do to thicken this up is just let it cook down until it was the right consistency for you. Um, when it cools, it is going to thicken a little bit, but that's about perfect for us. I'm going to get it in these jars, and I'm in a water bath can. If this is not an improved method, but the amount of vinegar that's in here and uh, berries are a high acid food. Um, so at least in my kitchen, it's going to be safe if I water bath can it. Now we're going to give these a half inch of head space and I'm going to water bath can them for 10 minutes. Now I don't think I have enough for this last jar, so I'm going to make a little gift size one. <laughs> We'll get these in the water here and then we'll go see what Mr. Reeve is up to. Can't forget the little guy. Ooh, I think I need more water in here. Oh, just heard a tree fall. <laughs> I know what Mr. Reeve is up to. That's a big tree. Huh? I heard it from the kitchen. Oh, this big guy? Yeah. Yeah. What you doing out here? You're like firewood. Yay! Yeah. These like are my meat. favorite words. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> what are you doing? Just finishing up that blueberry barbecue sauce. Wondering if I'm smushed in the forest? No, I listen <laughs> and make sure you're okay. <laughs> yeah. Look at firewood. Started the second load. I already dropped one off. You're awesome. <laughs> They're crazy. WrestleMania. Oh, goodness. You want to just come up to the house when you're ready to start that bacon? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I'll see. Oh, don't die. <laughs> Did you just go between your legs? Yeah. You're too big for that, dude. Holy bucket. <laughs> All right, I'll see you in a little while. Okay. Daisy, come on, you want a snack, girl? Yeah? You know where the secret stash is, huh, buddy? Yeah. Yeah, what do you think? All right, hold on, I gotta get them out. Show everybody your tricks. Yeah, show everybody how you can dance. Good girl, yeah. You want one more? You gotta do it. There, it's a good dancer, yeah. <laughs> oh, I could try it. Good. I was gonna actually come in and ask for a snack. Well, that's not much of a snack, but uh -huh. you can taste Dude, it. It smells see what you good. Think. Wow. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> we think. Oh, yeah. Did we do good? Yeah, we need this on pulled pork. I know, right? Yeah. Mm. All right. You need a snack? Yeah. And then it'll be bacon time? Mm-hmm. Okay. Bacon time. Go we're ahead. Smart mouth. Him, yeah, we're going to let him see what really Do happens it. around here. Do it. Where are you going? To find an apron because you want to steal my lobster apron. I am going to steal your lobster apron. I know, apron. which is why I'm avoiding conflict and I am going to find my other apron right now. <laughs> I make this lobster apron look good. Oh, I'm doing it right now. Put in the comments below if I should wear the lobster apron no. every time. Put my in the comments lobster below. apron. I've got my lobsters on. Yeah, I bet you do. What am I doing besides looking pretty? I'm looking for my apron. The green and pink one, you know? Where is it? Maybe it's in a truck. Why would you have an apron in your I truck? Don't know. This is why we can't have nice things. She go. Wait, I hear geese. What's going on? Oh no, I can't leave. You guys are watching. I don't know, y'all. Making bacon. I did have an apron in my truck. <laughs> you totally did. Oh, you do have a pink and green See, one. I told you. Hi. See? Green and pink apron. I see Bye -bye. that. I still, I think we should trade. That's, that's a no. Come on. No. You look good in pink. I look good in lobsters. That's true. All right. What are we doing today, Mr. E? Making bacon. So we got pork bellies. 
We have three pork bellies here. We cut them all pretty even, so they're about three pounds a piece. And we are starting the process of making bacon today. Okay, what are we doing? I'm going to trim these guys up. Okay. Why don't you start making the magic mixture? Okay, first I'm going to make some brown sugar. I'm going to show you a real easy, fast, simple way to make brown sugar. So you need a cup of sugar. You're supposed to be doing oh, something, oh, I'm not sorry. just watching. See, she's bossing me around already. Cup of sugar and a tablespoon of molasses. And you mix it up and then guess what? It's brown sugar. If you remember to get a spoon. You're not sassing me? Not yet. I will. Don't worry. Yeah. You wouldn't know what to do if I didn't sass you. That's a true statement. I would You'd be think... like, is he mad? I'd be like, do you have a fever? No, you'd just think I was mad. That's true. Dude, this is going to be so much easier with my glove. I'm tired of that. With your glove? Why, what's your glove have to do with it? I can mix it way better by hand. Oh, you're just going to reach in there and smoosh it around. Yes, I oh, am. Okay. So much faster right. than the darn spoon. Okay. Cool. Then we need a cup. So we did a cup of sugar. We made it into brown sugar by adding a tablespoon of molasses. If you had brown sugar, you just use a cup of brown sugar. Then we're going to take a cup of salt. You can use your salt of choice. This is Redmond's Livestock Salt. It comes fine ground, which is perfect for brining and what's it called when you put salt on stuff? Curing? Salting. Salt crusting. Oh. Salt encrusting your soon to be cured meat. You're getting all fancy. Fancy. It says live. It says livestock salt. I'm gonna put it on <laughs> livestock. Hey, air high five! Don't touch me with your meat hands. Don't touch me with your sugar Ooh. hands. Yeah, <laughs> I heard that before. Okay. No, you so, haven't. <laughs> so we need a cup of salt. You're that I don't think that was full. <laughs> Better. Oh, now it's too much. You gotta take too what? Much. You keep cutting. I'm done with this one. Then, I'm waiting on you there, sweet cheeks. Oh, oh. And then you need um, uh -oh, a I'm teaspoon? A teaspoon of pink salt. Yes. It's also called what, Mr. Reeve? Uh, prog powder or Instacure number one. Instacure Don't number use number one. two. That's bad. Don't no, use no. number two. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't make those jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. Ha-ha. Tablespoon of pepper. Tablespoon. Tablespoon. Oh yeah, tablespoon. Yeah, don't be short with my pepper, lady. Okay, well now we got a sugar hand. Okay, tablespoon of this is just um, peppercorns that we ground up to make ground pepper, or you can just have the regular table pepper, whatever. Table pepper. <gasps> Wouldn't you like to be a pepper too? <laughs> what? That's. Uh, what is that? Short circuit. Oh, I'm impressed by you right now. Johnny Five is alive, boys. Okay, also, um, for those of you that watch our channel and have waited for our delicious horseradish to have taste tested, we're doing that today at the end. That's not going on our bacon. No, oh, I'm terrified, but we're gonna, we're gonna do it. We're gonna keep our word, we're gonna try it. What do you mean we? They want you to taste it. <laughs> no. Yeah. You can do it. I can. I think I'm gonna keep one. We don't go nuts it. when we make bacon on trimming it up, up you know, trimming everything up all perfect. Mm -mm. So we process the pig oh and then long cut. time ago. Long time a ago. A pig you don't know. Yeah. Well, a year ago? Yeah. A year ago. Yeah. This is a year ago. And then uh Yeah, don't be afraid. We cut it into roughly equal portions and put it in the freezer because we were busy, because we're always busy. <laughs> And then uh, now we're just going to pull it out and then the edges, we're going to clean those up just a little bit. And I don't cut any of the fat off or any of that because why would you do that? Yeah, because once we cure it, if there's like wonky pieces of fat and stuff that would eat but maybe don't look like bacon, we'll just chop it up and throw it in pork and beans or sometimes I'll just throw it in chunks and stick it in the fridge and, or in the freezer and I just... Call it soup bacon. Like if oh, I want to make baked potato soup or something like that, or any any kind of bean soup or chili, you can just chuck it all in there. Or chuck it in Reeve's mouth. <laughs> or feed it to the husband. But no sense in wasting it for sure. Oh, okay. you poured your business in there. Yeah, I'm ready. Now I'm all slacking. Slacker! Here, I'm going to cut. Uh, he's happy. I'm going to cut one more. Okay, you need to finish trimming that up. Mm-hmm. Just this guy. 
Okay, I'll just make another batch because each one of these, um, like a cup of sugar, a cup of salt, and a teaspoon of pink salt is going to be enough for one of these three pound slabs of meat. And a tablespoon pepper. Yeah. I keep trying to pepper. forget my pepper. I know, I keep forgetting. Even the stuff I'm trimming off is not going to get wasted. We'll give that to the piggos, to the chickens. So I'm going to... Now I'm going to take that mixture and I'm going to press it in on every side and every little crevice all over this guy. I want to get it everywhere. Don't be shy. All right. We're going to die? Yep. Ooh, mama. Yeah, he's a guy. He's a guy. Get in there. Perfect. All right, lay him flat and I'll put all the extra goodness in there. So we're just taking the extra... Um, sugar and salt rub and kind of cramming it in on one side and then we're gonna flip it over put some on the other the rest of the gear in there. I folded the bottom of this bag over so that it doesn't get sugar and salt on it that way when we seal it um it's not gonna the seal's gonna be good I won't get any of that stuff stuck that's, in the seal that's like a magic miss crystal trick <laughs> that's the theory anyway Bye -bye. all right Okey you want me to turn the water on for you you can wash your hands. Uh, is there a point to that right yet? Nope. There's no point to you washing your hands while we're cooking. No, that's not what I mean. No, I, I know. I mean, you know what I mean. I yeah. still got to do that guy. Okay, scoot over. Okay, pushing me around. Pushing you around. So, we made the, ba the bags. The bags. The we bags. Made, we're in. We made the who, bags. Who says it like that? In the uh, Midwest, they say Minnesota. that, Minnesota. Right? The big. Minnesota. Yeah, the big. Okay, so. If I'm wrong, I apologize. Okay. Put your bag in there, wherever you are. <laughs> <laughs> I made the bag probably about six inches longer than the piece of meat because I want to be able... Um, why did I do that? Because you wanted me to have bigger pork bellies? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> because... 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 Okay. Because I wanted to be able to fold the bag over number one, okay? But then when this briny stuff or all of this rub stuff liquefies with all the meat nectar. <laughs> you wanted to get meat nectar in there. Oh, yeah. Tell us what TV show that's from. Yeah. And meat you're super nectar. Cool. <clears throat> it's not a TV show. It was a TV show. It's a video. It's a movie. No, it's from a TV show. Oh, okay. Well, I lied. Okay. So anyways. See, even Miss Crystal doesn't know. So if you know, you're amazing. Wow. You really don't know what it's from. Wow. Okay, now let me work We're going to see if they know. Fine. You can't say in the video because then... <laughs> You're sitting there whispering, meat nectar, meat nectar. Oh, I'm figuring it out. Okay, stop. Okay, okay. so I made the bag longer than, it <laughs> longer than it needs to be because I wanted to be able to fold it over to keep all the goo and stuff off it. Meat nectar. But, but... <laughs> But when all this liquefies into sweet and salty meat nectar, then... <laughs> that sounds like a Christmas treat. Then, then it, <laughs> all of this liquid is going to kind of ooze out over the, over the inside of the bag. And really, I want it to stay where the meat is. So I'm going to vacuum seal it. Um, not suck all the air out, but most of it. And I'm going to quick stop it right before it's all the way... Um, Sealed right before Tight. all the air sucks yeah. out of it. Yeah. Okay. Ba -ba. But like I said, now there's this big gap here, right? Where when all of this liquefies, it's going to fill up this space rather than staying on the meat. And so now what I'm going to do is seal it a second time right closer to the meat and just hope that those sugars and those sugar crystals and salt um, crystals don't get in the way. And that should essentially make like a, like a main chamber and then just this extra bag chamber. Which is doing nothing but wasting bag, but you know, it is what it is. Wah, wah. Okay. There you go. We'll get we'll get these other ones done up and then we will let you know what the next step is. Yeah? Yeah. So tell them this is not the time that I should be singing pour some sugar on me. No. No. <laughs> may or may I may not have gotten lots of sugar on Miss Crystal's kitchen floor. <laughs> okay. On with the show. Okay. Megan, we got all these done. We actually had four. We did one uh, before we started videoing. 
The next step with these guys is they're gonna go in the fridge for 10 days. And every morning, I'm gonna go and flip them over while I'm getting coffee ready in the morning. And then we will show you what's after that in another video. Are you ready? I'm ready for what? Are you ready for bravery? Uh, yeah. Look at a little serving spoon. Where'd you get these guys? Notice I made sure I found the tiniest spoon available. What if it's not enough? What if it's good? Then you you're can scared have... that it's not going to be good. It yes, might be I'm amazing. I'm terrified. Look, it sealed good. It did seal. It looks like that prog powder. <laughs> it actually doesn't smell that bad. It doesn't smell like pickled fart anymore? Just only a tiny bit. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> no, it smells weird, though. It smells weird, but not horrible. All right, Ugh. who's going first? We're going at the same time. No cheating. Deal? Yeah, how do you even cheat? You pretend like you're going to go and you let the other person go first. And then oh. you're like, hey, I need that. So hey. now I know what you were thinking. No, I would never do that. <laughs> you not. had the idea. No, I'm going to play. One, okay. two, three. <laughs> That's weird. I hate it. <laughs> <coughs> Guess what? That's not. That's horrible. That's not horseradish at all. It's not even Don't spicy. Don't make that. It tastes so bad, and there's like heartburn already. Nope. Don't make that. That's weird. That's, I don't even know what that is. It's like hot pickled garbage. That's what the that's what the cabbage ribs tasted like. Hold please. I don't no the cabbage ribs yeah. were worse than no, this. No, hold on. Did you make like five gallons of this? Now we're gonna figure out something to do with it? No, no, I did not do that. <laughs> this time. There's a chunk in here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, kinda of surprised me that one. It's so bad. It's, it's so bad. Let's do a side-by-side -side comparison. That doesn't taste I found good. one jar when I was in the pantry. Oh, good. You found more. Of the pickled cabbage ribs from last year. Okay. So this is last year's fail, and this is this year's fail. I don't know. I remember these being so bad. Yeah. I thought they were terrible. Oh, that's my spoon already. Oh, no. Okay, are you ready? You ready no. for the side-by-side -side comparison? Oh, I'm afraid. I they look like already. Creature from the Black Lagoon in there. Oh, yeah. What? That smells bad. What do you mean? I don't think you can eat that. I think people might die. It's not edible. That's weird. Oh, I'm not eating that. I'll try it. I ain't scared. That? No. Honey. What? I'm not scared. I don't... <laughs> I don't got a stomach pump. I'm not eating that. It smells bad. You didn't die? No. That smells like, I don't know what it smells like, barbecue. I gotta be honest, I think that's worse. <laughs> I <laughs> will, I will concede that's not as bad to as your it was. That's not as bad opinion. as it was last year. You know what, you gotta give her a shot. <sighs> All right. Yeah, don't be slacking. It's not as strong and nasty as it was last no. year. It's definitely better than it was last year. It tastes weird. It does taste weird. I think I put too many peppercorns in it. So Maybe I... next year that'll be amazing. No. Okay, there you have it. Side by side comparison of last year and this year's They're both canning failures. Not good. Yeah. <laughs> Bad. Catch you on the next video, guys. <clears throat> oh, we were supposed to do a thumbnail.